in the previous video we saw that um, in an integral domain in an integral domain prime implies irreducible and we saw the proof for that now this theorem we are still on uh, integral domains uh, no sorry in this video we jump into principal ideal domains okay and we are going to see that an element is irreducible if and only if it is prime so the theorem is in a principal ideal domain implies irreducible equals prime in a principal ideal domain an element is irreducible if and only if it is a prime and we are going to prove this now okay so we are going to see a proof for this so we are going to take a and a is irreducible okay um, so a is an irreducible element and a is in a principal ideal domain okay uh, this principal ideal domain we can call it uh, D okay for short for not calling PID all the time so we're going to call it D okay so suppose A divides BC well we want to prove this is not proven okay so we want to prove that if A divides BC a being irreducible by hypothesis a is irreducible either a divides b or a divides c this is not proof this is where we want to get okay we saw in a previous video that if it is prime um, it implies that it is irreducible okay now we are proving the inverse or sorry the converse meaning if it is uh, irreducible and it is irreducible uh, it implies that it is this happens if this happens it means a is prime that's what we want to prove okay um, we are in a um, ideal right so how can I how can we write ideals we're going to write ideals as ax plus by such that x and y are both in we call the the PID the principal ideal domain we are calling we are calling it uh, D okay but D is a principal ideal domain so uh, this ideal will have a generator let's call it uh, D okay so D is a generator of the principal ideal uh, domain okay and A is in the ideal right so since it's this is true a can be written in the form a equals generated by D so it will be D times some uh, R okay okay but um, a is irreducible right since a is irreducible this means that either D or R is a unit okay this is by hypothesis okay because the theorem says in a principal ideal domain we are proving that an if an element it, it is irreducible is a prime 
we already proved that if it is a prime, it's irreducible. So A is in the ideal and the principal ideal domain. So since it is a principal ideal domain, it will be generated by D. So A, an irreducible element, will be in the form D times some R. And since it is irreducible, either D or R, uh, one of them will be a unit. Okay, now we have two cases. So either D is a unit or, sorry, uh, either D is a unit, one, either D is a unit or R is a unit. Okay, let us begin by D. Let us say that D is a unit. So, if D is a unit, if D is a unit, D is a unit, so the the ideal will be D, right? And uh, so they will be the same. So here we can write, uh, how was the ideal? AX plus BY. So we can say 1 equals AX plus BY. Okay, okay, so here we are going to multiply C on both, both sides, so we will get C, C A X plus C B Y, and uh, if you look well, if you look very well, A divides this element and A divides this element. <coughs> So A will divide this one, okay? If it divides both, divides this one. A divides this one for the obvious reason that A is here, okay? And A divides this element because CB is here, okay? A divides BC, so A divides this element here, and A divides this element, so A divides C, okay? I should not I should write the other way around, but it's okay. So conclusion for point number one if D is a unit A divides C. Okay, so this one checked. Okay, what about two if not D is a unit but R is a unit? Well, we are writing A equals DR. Now we are going to check what about not if D is a unit, but if R is a unit. Well, if D is a unit, we prove that A divides C. Okay. Now, <coughs> if R is a unit, then taking from this one, from A equals DR, and R is a unit. Uh, do not forget that D is the generator. So A will be the generator too, right? Since R is a unit. Okay. So since A will be the generator, D will be the generator. They both generate the ideal. Okay. So here now we just pick an element B that is in the ideal. And of course, for, for any element B, uh, A is a generator, so there will be an element T, let's call it T, times A, that will give us B, okay? So the conclusion of all this is that A divides B, and this concludes the theorem, okay? We have here, a divides C and here A divides B. So, in both cases, if A divides BC and A is irreducible, that was the only thing we used. We used the fact that A is irreducible. If A divides BC, it implies that A divides B or A divides C. So this means that A is a prime. So, 
a theorem is proved in a principal ideal domain. An element is irreducible if and only if it is prime. For the converse, please check the previous video.